So this being the one dear Tresena, which is about breaking free of limitations, I'd like to discuss why the pursuit of unity consciousness benefits the global elite. The concept of unity consciousness is a very old one, but for some reason it's become very popular lately uh, with people professing that the next stage in human evolution will come from a collective unity consciousness. Uh, I think part of the uh, this movement to embrace uh, unity consciousness began uh, last year when Carl Kalman had declared that one of the products of the ninth wave universal cycle of the Mayan tune calendar model uh, would be that humans would be experiencing unity consciousness. You know, in my research in, into Dr. Collins' uh, model, I realized that parts of his theory were really based on actual Mayan inscriptions, and other parts were just tacked on. And uh, the tune calendar did illustrate uh, a, a schedule of technological development, but it did not really have a spiritual component. So the concept of unity consciousness was added without really any foundation or justification uh, in the Mayan belief system. Unity consciousness actually has nothing to do with the Mayan calendar. And the funny thing is that uh, Kalman and his followers had forgotten this, uh, that they just made up the spiritual component of, uh, of the tune calendar, uh, and that it had no underpinning. So when we all didn't experience unity consciousness on October 28, 2011, Dr. Kalman declared that the waves were continuing after the date uh, it was to complete as the waves were just grinding in unity consciousness. And really, I have never understood the idea of grinding in unity consciousness because it takes duality to grind anything. Uh, and the folks that are pushing unity consciousness are making statements like the next great shift is going to be something like a collective energy field of change uh, rather than individuals who inspire other individuals. And if you think about it, unity consciousness is like the communism of belief systems. And the basic concept of communism is good. You know, everybody has equal access to everything. It seems like a good idea, but it's not really how it tends to work out. And change has never come from the collective. All change has always come from individuals. Uh, the collective uh, is really never really interested in change. Uh, it has far too much to lose. Um, it really prefers just to keep everything as it is. Uh, and the pursuit of unity consciousness is about giving up your power when we really need it most. The true beneficiary of people's pursuit of unity consciousness is the global elite, the network of governments, corporations, and religions who uh, have all always had the power and at this juncture when a real shift is needed would love to have everybody pursue the concept of becoming one big homogeneous blob of consciousness that doesn't think for itself you know according to ast astrology and the human design systems uh, we're moving into a time of the empowered individual so don't get caught up looking for enlightenment in being assimilated into a uh, collective consciousness Enlightenment has always been an individual experience that is shared with the collective. It seems as if people are pitching unity consciousness like it's a quick fix, a way to samadhi, the yogic experience of being integrated in the universe without actually having to do the work, which always reminds me of the Bill Moyers qu uh, quoting the Quran and saying, do you think that we shall enter the garden of bliss without such trials as come to those who have passed before you. These folks are, who are pursuing unity consciousness, are, are, it's not out of malicious intent. How could they? That would be duality. But they're just sheeple who want to be part of the herd, and that's just fine with the wolves in power. Uh, we need, what we really need, though, is uh, individuals who empower us by their example, to find our own unique voice and message, not a bunch of drones hoping to, for a better life based on a belief system without any practical application. Just people making stuff up and willing to tell, you, tell it to you uh, for the price of your consciousness, or in some cases, for actual currency. You actually have to pay some of them to give away your power. Um, obviously, this has been my empowered individual uh, uh, opinion, 
and I welcome your opinions as well. So whether you're pursuing your individual consciousness or unity consciousness during this one dear Tresena, take some time out to be in the flow with the planet by being in nature, watching a sunrise or sunset, communing with the stars, being conscious of the, uh, of the moment through introspection, meditation, or being with someone you love. Every day we have is a blessing. Uh, no matter what dramas beckon to distract us, we are all here giving the performance of a lifetime on the world stage. So just take some time out to observe the play as well as acting your part. Remember, you're a spiritual being having a human experience. So I want to thank you for checking out New World Birth. The next uh, segment of Care and Feeding of a New World Age will be on August uh, 23rd for one sun, and we'll also discuss the blue full moon in Pisces, Mars moving into Scorpio, uh, Mercury moving into Virgo. Uh, I'll also uh, provide an update on my cosmic chicken experiment that I discussed in the uh, last one Jaguar report. Uh, you can check us out on Facebook or YouTube or the Mayan Magics website, and I invite you to email me at newworldbirth at yahoo.com if you have any questions or you want to share your opinion or wish to schedule a reading. I am providing readings and wish to make this service available to the greatest amount of folks, so I've created three options with three levels of compensation. Uh, and these readings are designed to provide you information uh, uh, to help you navigate these difficult times ahead. At the basic level, we are going to look at your human design chart to help you understand your individual strategy and authority in making decisions based on your unique design. Uh, I'll include the next three months of astrological transits, how they relate to your natal and progressed astrology charts, along with the human design reading at the middle level and at the top level um, uh, the human design and astrology reading uh, will be recorded and sent to you as an mp3 to be downloaded to your computer so if you're thinking about getting a reading please contact me I'd love to provide you a reading uh, during these uncertain times you'll need to either be able to call me in Maine in the USA or we can connect on Skype I've actually been doing some readings for people overseas who don't have access to Skype and don't, can't afford the call by actually recording the reading and sending it to them as an MP3 uh, at the uh, at the top level uh, so that uh, they, they can listen to the reading and then ask me questions uh, through uh, email. Uh, as always, I am very, very blessed that you've taken the time out to connect with my passion for these ancient mysteries and their application in our journey during this incarnation. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste and Lakesh.